every time you buy a motorcycle there are some accessories which you have to install on the bike no matter what bike you have you need to have some must-haves for the bike and this time i'm gonna tell you the top five must-haves for the honda transalp there are five accessories which i will highly recommend to have on the bike before you even start riding the bike since the launch a lot of manufacturers uh, are offering some aftermarket accessories for this bike so we're gonna present you the whole range of accessories for this top five must-haves for each single accessories there will be more options for you at this point so i will present you all the accessories available for all the manufacturers for the top five must-haves for the Honda Transalp. The first accessory which I will install on this bike, the first must-have for this bike, it's the skid plate. This is the original skid plate from Honda, part of the rally pack, but there are plenty of better even skid plates available. Why the skid plate is very important for the Honda Transalp is because of the shape of the oil bath because uh, this shape it's very um, sharp especially down and you risk to damage it very very uh, much especially if you're riding even light off-road even you risk to damage the exhaust pipes and uh, the other components in the upfront so I highly recommend that you consider as a first must-have of this bike it's the skid plate and now let's check out what options do we have for the skid plate except the original skid plate from Honda. The second option for the skid plate it's the uh, Hepco Embecker. As you can see Hepco Embecker created the skid plate uh, just few months after uh, releasing of the Honda Transalp so I was not able to choose them uh, as an option for the skid plate and for the other uh, accessories. As you can see here the Hepco Embecker skid plate uh, covers quite a lot of the bike and its uh, thickness starts from 3 millimeters up to 4 millimeters and it uh, seems like uh, it's uh, thicker than the OEM which has uh, 3, 3.5 millimeters maximum and now we can see uh, much clearer the Hepco and Becker skid plate they have also black version and also uh, silver version now we're taking a look at the silver version as as you can see it offers quite a lot of protection for the engine first of all this front part goes way up and protects the engine and the pipes from mud and water it's also uh, is not so wide as it's the original one you can uh, you can compare the original wide which is wider this one it's slimmer uh, thicker uh, it goes way up to the pipes they cover them and uh, also the mounting points I think they're much more than the original ones we have also a mounting point here on top to the bars and also the other mounting points um, left and right and the bottom so yeah this uh, Hepco and Becker uh, skid plate looks really amazing in my opinion I think it's a really really good option when you put it uh, aside the original one I think it's a better option this uh, skid plate comes in color gray and also black let's check it out and here is the black option for the skid plate it also looks uh, really amazing in my opinion so uh, besides this look it's the functionality of the skid plate the height, the the way it covers the engine and the front part, I think it's a really a perfect option so far for the bike. The price for this kit plate starts from 275 euros, including VAT and uh, without the shipping costs. So I think it's a decent price when you compare it with the OM, which I think it's a little bit more expensive. So 275 euros for the engine protection plate silver for Honda XL 750 Transalp Hapco and Becker. The third option for the skid plate it's the SW Motec. The SW Motec was uh, very fast on releasing the uh, accessories for the Honda Transalp and let's take a look at the skid plate 
which is uh, looks quite big it's quite big and uh, looks really tough really rough and uh, quite uh, brutal you can see it uh, you can see the stitching the weldings they are quite visible it goes uh, not so much up but anyway much better than the original one anyway so uh, you can check out the design it's uh, quite wide and uh, looks very thick as you can see it on the side at least uh, 3.5 or even 4 millimeter I think it's thicker than 4 millimeters SW Motex kit plate looks uh, really good. I don't know how much you're gonna lose from the ground clearance. For the OM uh, there is basically nothing, uh, nothing uh, which you can lose. But if you check it out here it uh, goes a little bit down and uh, somehow uh, shorten the... Um, this kit plate uh, seems to minimize a little bit the initial ground clearance you can check it out but it looks uh, really tough really robust thick and uh, offers uh, seems to offer quite a good protection let's check it out also on sw motec uh, website as you can see uh, from different angles the weldings are very visible it has uh, also uh, some holes for the drain or the water drain and for breathability and uh, you can see that it doesn't go uh, too much up when you compare it with Hepco and Becker but still it uh, seems better than the original one this is how the bike looks on black with a black uh, version we also have a silver version for the skid plate where the weldings are even more visible with the same design of course uh, you can see from the pictures how thick this uh, skid plate is it's uh, quite thick quite robust you can see it from the side I really like it I'm really curious in your feedback or if you have uh, already used this uh, SW Motec. As you can see here something very interesting is that uh, the skid plate it's mounted without the engine bar protectors so there is no engine guard there is no engine bars to protect the engine but we have a skid plate which uh, seems to be uh, available for installing on the bike without these bars without the engine guards so i was just saying at the beginning that there is no possibility to install a skid plate on the honda transal without the engine bars but as you can see here this sw motec can be attached this sw motec can be attached to the bike uh, without these engine bars protectors without the engine guards so you can check it out so this is possible you can buy only this uh, skid plate and install it on your bike it's also possible to install it with SW Motec engine guards the producer or uh, when we ask the SW Motec uh, on their YouTube channel if uh, these parts can be mixed for example to mix the original bars with the skid plate so far uh, they haven't uh, offered us an answer we suppose it's not possible to mix this kit plate with the original one uh, from Honda with the original uh, engine guards so uh, yeah this is a question if uh, this these accessories from SW Mote can be uh, combined with other brands or with the original Honda accessories or you have to buy only from SW Motec the accessories in order to combine them but for someone who just wants a skid plate and uh, doesn't want to add more weight mounting engine guards it's a possibility to choose only the skid plate from SW Motec the price for the skid plate it's uh, 270 euro it's a little bit cheaper with 5 euros than uh, the one from Hepco and Becker 
and at the moment it's not available it uh, will be available in two weeks or more so uh, this is uh, was quite a demand for this one seems as you can see underbody protection against stone chips and collisions more protection through secure and stable attachment points reliable easy installation or original attachment points so this answer to our question reliable and easy installation on original attachment points so attachment points for the skid plate but not in combination with the bars modification to the motorcycle are not required bike specific development mounting material included so uh, as you can see the weight of the skid plate it's about five kilos so this is the weight it's quite heavy the one from the hepco and becker had about three kilos if i'm not mistaken the skid plate from hepco and becker has 3.7 kilos when we compare it with the one from sw motec which has five kilos so uh, more weight to sw motec less weight for hepco and becker now let's move to other option regarding the skid plate for the Honda Transalp and we found a very interesting one from Thorke Racing aluminum engine guard for the Honda Transalp and check it out it says uh, Cross Pro this is uh, I don't know if this is a brand Cross Pro or Thorke Racing uh, it's the website which is selling this one but check it out check out the the look it's very interesting looks uh, very visible it has a uh, really nice protection it uh, looks very thick it's uh, they say it's a uh, four millimeter thickness it's made from best quality aluminium wraps around the bottom and both sides of the engine providing your bike with perfect protection against rocks and other debris so as you can see the brackets this one can be also installed uh, can be installed without the uh, engine guard so as you can check it out it's a really interesting one very thick and you can see here the mounting brackets so basically any skid plate can be mounted on the Honda Transal without the engine uh, engine uh, guards and check it out four millimeter thickness for this one for this uh, how it's called the cross pro or uh, from Thorke racing just check it out but the price is also interesting it's uh, 385 euros this is uh, known EU uh, 313 euros without tax so they say it's uh, they have multiple colors here we have uh, black mate black blue ice polish red but i don't know they, they are not presenting here the colors on this website but uh, anyway it's a nice option it still doesn't cover completely the pipes this is a uh, a nice option a nice option for the honda transalp in terms of skid plate the next option for the skid plate in terms of Honda Transalp it's the one from Outback uh, Motor Tech. This is quite minimalistic uh, skid plate, but uh, it goes also upper in the uh, when it comes to pipe protection and engine protection and everything which covers from the front side. And you can check out the design looks uh, quite small and uh, still very discreet doesn't uh, stand out as uh, the one from the Honda does or the SW Motec so it's very discreet very minimalistic uh, for the ones that uh, perhaps are casual riders who knows or I don't know what to say what I like is that uh, it continues uh, quite a lot in the back position as you can see under the um, side stand it goes uh, way up and somehow protects uh, part of the uh, rear suspension and I like the I like very much the design I think this is uh, one of the best designs in terms of uh, look but i don't know about the functionality it seems uh, quite quite um, not so uh, it doesn't cover so much in the upper position but uh, its thickness it's also four millimeters from what we can see here 
and the design it's one of the best so far from Outback uh, Motor Tech. Let's check out the price. The price is 299.96 euros, so 300 euros. This kit plate weights uh, 3.8 kilos and uh, we can see that we have only one color uh, available, the matte black. This uh, skid plate, it's uh, just, uh, they say it's fully frame mounted. This helps any potential damage caused to the engine by transferring energy from potential impacts while off-roading. The Outback Mototech crash bars must be installed in order to mount our Transalp skid plate. It's not compatible with any other crash bars brands. So the skid plate, as you can see, and uh, because of its minimalistic design, is not compatible with any other crash bar brands. So uh, you can uh, keep, keep that in mind. Of course, if you want some basic protection for your bike, in terms of skid plate, this is a very fashionable and uh, nice design option for your bike. Only one color available and 300 euros as a price range. And it weights 3.8 kilos. It's the same weight as the one from Hapco and Becker and lighter than the uh, SW Motec. The second must have for this bike is the engine protection bar or the engine crash bar here why this is very important first you need to connect the skid plate to the engine protection bars in order to assemble it and of course there are some other options except these original ones which i highly recommend to consider them this engine protection you can also buy it separately you don't have to buy the rally pack in order to have it you need to buy it separately also and uh, you can connect this bash plate this skid plate to the engine protection bar so this is the second must have of this bike and now let's check out what other options do we have for this engine protection bars let's take a look at the hepco and becker engine guards as you can see uh, they're quite wider and they provide also somehow a fender protection because uh, they get out of the bike uh, on the sides quite a lot and also you can check out how uh, the fitting to the frame it's uh, mounted so we have uh, the classic mount on the sides on the upper side then the lower side similar to the om and we have an extra mount on the middle between the uh, between the exhaust pipes and i think this is quite an interesting uh, approach regarding the protection of the engine with the hepco and becker and you can see here how wide they are and uh, they are over the fenders and even though you don't have the tank guards the crash bars the upper crash bars somehow you luckily can get uh, protection also with these engine guards from hepco and becker in terms of color we have black and silver to match uh, the existing honda transalp colors and uh, as you can see it fits perfectly to the bike and adds some extra protection and uh, extra fitting security when you see here that the exhaust pipes are covered by this engine guard so this engine guard actually uh, comes upwards to help uh, on mounting the Hepco and Becker skid plate which you previously saw that it covers also the um, exhaust pipes in the upper side so i think uh, this is definitely definitely much better than the om this uh, engine guards from hepco and becker in terms of design in terms of functionality in terms of uh, thickness in terms of quality and as you can see there are not so many logos on this engine guards because uh, usually Hapco and Becker puts its logo very visible on its accessories but as we can see from this picture there is not uh, one single logo with Hapco and Becker on this um, engine protection bars but really I like them I like the look I like the functionality and 
it's very interesting how they are combined here in the middle part between the exhaust pipes carrying out and uh, somehow supporting the skid plate from Hapco and Becker. This uh, engine guard, it's, a, it's a compatible with the original crash bar from Honda. I don't know if you can mount on it uh, the original bash plate or you need to mount the Hapco and Becker bash plate. Let's check out the price. It's about uh, 210 euros, including VAT with no uh, shipping cost included. And we have about uh, three point kilos weight for this uh, engine guards. I think it's a decent, uh, a decent weight considering that this waste is uh, placed down below. So when you put together the engine uh, crash bars with the skid plate from uh, Hepco and Becker, we have about seven kilos in total seven kilos uh, placed down as a protection for the engine, for the exhaust pipes and for the oil bath and for the engine, especially on the side because uh, you can see that these pipes are getting out on the sides and helps quite a lot protecting. You can see actually it's almost, they're almost as wide as the crash bar, as the upper crash bars. really nice design this can be combined with Hapco and Becker 10 guard and original 10 guard so uh, this is what I'm talking about the adapter set is required for assembly the engine guard with the 10 guard so you need the, if you didn't have the adapter the the adapter plate which is mounted for the crash bars then uh, you can uh, buy separately this adapter the adapter is not required for mounting already on already installed tangard so uh, either you have hepco and becker tangard or the original one you don't need to remount again this uh, adapter set what we receive we receive a protection during pushovers or falls helps when trying to uh, when uh, tied up the motorcycle premium surface finish easy assembly delivery right side left side mounting kit and manual high quality german steel tube please check the manual bike specific note for more information they say uh, if the bike falls over or makes un unintentional contact with the ground it can protect both bike and rider for most serious consequences and here is the black version available here as you can check it out it looks also very nice on the gray color or black color for the transalp and uh, yeah it's uh, really well done I have to say uh, it's one of the best options in terms of engine protection guards let's check out one more time Now let's check out the lower the lower crash bars for the Honda Transal from the brand Heed. This is how they look. So uh, they have a very minimalistic design. The mounting points are quite a few. I think there are two mounting points on the side and in the upper side, in the upper position uh, between the head pipes. This is the minimalistic design for Heed. They also have a skid plate uh, provided this heat brand the price for this uh, lower crash bars it's uh, 120 euros lower crash bar in silver color for Honda Transal the product is mainly designed to protect the lower part of the motorcycle lower crash bars can be combined with heat upper crash bar or use alone they're also the base for attaching the heat engine guard or the skid plate the product is available in black or silver, black available in a separate related offer. Crash bar for the left and right side, installation set included. So it's uh, compatible with Honda Transalp and it, they have 3 kilos. This is their weight. This is a steel pipe, 25 millimeter multiplied by 2 millimeters. So uh, this is the thickness and they weight 3 kilos 
which is uh, one of the lowest weight when we compare it with the original ones and the Hepco and Becker. And this is the skid plate. Let's uh, check it out a little bit in combination with the uh, lower crash bars from HEED. This is the skid plate and this is how it looks combined with uh, the engine guard and the skid plate from HEED. So this is uh, how it's looking like. They have also black. This is available also on black and the skid plate costs 195 euros and the skid plate weights 4.5 kilos which is quite a lot it's uh, quite thick and it's four millimeter thick aluminium plate so it's quite thick a four millimeter which is the same as the sw motec it's very uh, minimalistic also but it looks very nice in terms of design so this is uh, the offer from heed in terms of uh, lower engine protection bars and skid plate. As you already know, I've managed somehow to crash the bike a little bit on the left side. And of course, uh, we are getting to the third must have for this bike, in my opinion, is the handguards protectors or the handguards in my opinion this could be the first must-have but let's take and let's say this is the third must-have for this bike is are the handguards actually uh, the handguards are having an important role in my case i crashed the bike at very low speed almost uh, five kilometers per hour and as you can see how this uh, clutch lever was bent and uh, of course the handguards have a really high role in uh, taking up the the hit or the crash the force the hitting force uh, they they take over a lot of the hitting force starting with the the other protections from the from the bike so i highly consider that you even start with these handguards and thanks God we have plenty of options. This is the original handguards which are part of the uh, rally kit. And let's check out what other options do we have for the handguards. One of my favorite options when it comes to the handguards are the Acerbis uh, Endurance X handguards. These Acerbis, uh, uh, I was searching for them at the beginning to uh, replace my uh, handguards from the original rally pack because uh, my handguards are from plastic and I was searching for something more reliable as this a uh, service. I really like the white color. Let's uh, check them out for a while. As you can see, uh, they have quite a strong metal part inside. In terms of design, they are very uh, discreet, but still uh, with a very strong protection. Of course, these are service uh, Endurance X handguards are available on many other colors and I find this uh, white and black color that fits uh, quite nice to the Transalp. And this is one of the options uh, I was searching for in terms of replacing my plastic uh, handguards from the Rally Pack. As you can see here, down below, you can see the model of the Transalp that these handguards are available for this one. Let's check it out. So Honda Transalp 2023, and it requires an accessory, which is uh, 025926 Kit Montage Transalp X Factory. I suppose that is uh, this one, but uh, this one has a different code. Maybe you can uh, clarify me in the comment section. We have this uh, X-Factory mounting kit, which uh, is necessary to mount it uh, together with this uh, Endurance X handguards. And there is also this X-Factor mounting kit, which is uh, slightly different. But I suppose uh, I send an email to a service to try to clarify me regarding the mounting kit which is necessary to have because the one which they said here, the one which they uh, indicate here, this uh, 25926, 
I could not find it on the uh, service website, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, this is these are actually the first option from a service which uh, fits to the Transalp 750. You can check them out. I think uh, they will look quite nice on the bike. Please write in the comment section if you already mounted these uh, handguards to your bike together with the mounting kit. All right, so from our service, this is the first option and we have another option, which is this one. This is also Endurance X Transalp handguards. This is uh, 139.5 euros. The other one, it's the same price, but as you can see here, it says uh, application Honda Transalp XL750 2023. Uh, it's slightly different. It's slightly different and uh, I don't think this one uh, requires a mounting kit but the only color available it's black which uh, I think it doesn't fit so well to the white version of the bike. So in terms of options, if you have a black or gray uh, Transalp, then this one, this one's I think uh, will be quite nice for your bike if it's a uh, black or gray. Just check it out. This is uh, for your black and gray version of the Transalp. And if you have, like I have, if you have, let's say, a white, I suppose uh, that this one suits uh, better. But apparently you need a mounting kit. And the number of the mounting kit I just said, please check it out. It's uh, 0025926 Kit Montage Transalp X Factory. So it seems to be this one, but please confirm in the comment section. I'm still waiting for an answer from a service to be sure what to order. All right, so this is the service. Of course, there are plenty of colors uh, from, from you to choose, starting from green, yellow, red, and so on. You can actually, you have plenty of options. Endurance X handguards. This is uh, one option. Endurance X Transalp handguards. These are named uh, Transalp in the description. They have a different code to five nine two nine, and these have two five four eight six. So uh, as you can see, even though they are Endurance X, they have uh, different codes. As for the description, as for the materials which are used, propylene 16%, aluminium 70%, the one which is uh, underneath, and steel 14%. So it's actually, this is a proportion of the materials. Closed handguards with aluminium bar and bracelets, ultra durable closed handguards designed for those seeking greater protection, enduro, hard enduro, cross country. 35 mm C section anti corrodal bar provides five times more resistance than the classic handguards with aluminium bar. The cuffs, oversized with a thickness of 19 mm, guarantee greater strength and increased torsional capacity. Expanders made entirely of steel, cover impact resistant, wider area to protect pilot's hand more, flexible lower area to absorb accidental contact with the knee. So uh, a lot of features, a lot of uh, positives in this description. Before you buy, check the application for compatibility with your motorcycle. Stand mounting kit included. They said standard mounting kit included. I don't know what this means. So your motorcycle may require an additional mounting kit to be purchased separately. Check applications before you buy. So applications and in applications you have this uh, this description that you need a kit montage Transalp X factory because we have an X factor mounting kit 
and this is X factory, but it's not the same code as the one provided by a service. So check it out and be sure that you're actually matching these two in order to mount it properly. And now comes uh, the option from SW Motec, actually the options. What we have, uh, the first one, although here it says Cobra, these are the Barbusters BB Storm, the one which I had on my previous Honda NC750X, you can check them out. So these are the SW Motec uh, BB Storm, Barbusters, and uh, this is how they are fitting to the bike. This is the first option from SW Motec. And we have, of course, the Cobra, stylish Cobra handguards, which uh, they are mounted on the Honda Hornet, although it says uh, they are for the Transalp, but they are mounted on the Honda Hornet and they have one mounting point, only one mounting point and a slider at the end of the handlebar and the uh, Barbusters or the SW Motec BB Storm, which uh, actually, they're fitted uh, to the bike in the same ways, in the same way as I had them uh, on my previous Honda NC750X. As you can see them, uh, how they look on the Transalp. These uh, handguards I had it on my previous bike on the Honda NC750X. They were fitted quite nice to the bike, but I think for the Transalp, which uh, it's. The Transalp it's a slimmer bike, a taller bike. I think these these ones are too bulky. However, they are protecting quite nice and uh, quite they are quite strong. From my experience, I've used them and uh, they really really offer an amazing protection. It's a matter of look and also from SW Motec we have actually uh, the Cobra Cobra handguard kit. This is how it's called, and we have this slimmer, slimmer Cobra. As you can uh, see them, they're quite shiny uh, in this picture, although this is a Transalp uh, mounting kit as they are presented it here. You can check it out, uh, they're mounted on a Hornet, but you can make an idea about uh, their look, about how they are looking like. So, uh, yeah, these are the Cobra. You can see that uh, it's not continuous. It's a white protection for the handlebar on the on the end. You can see like a, like a slider on the uh, on the handlebar and then comes the actual handguard from Cobra. You can check it out, gives you space, gives you space, but still offers some protection. But the mounting points, it's uh, only one mounting point. And I think, uh, I don't know how much protection you can get from one mounting point. They cost 120 euros. And the previous, the, the Cobra SW Mode, cost 160 euros. Stable close aluminum frame, two point mounting. Motor design, about the motor design, I don't know what to say because they are not looking very modern. They are very bulky and uh, old style. Protection for levers and a hand for weather during off-road rides. Easy installation. Handguard shell made from impact resistant Moplen plastic. So we have a mounting kit. You have supplementary item handguard mounting kit. So uh, everything is provided uh, from SW Motec, instructions and so on. You can actually mount them without uh, too many issues. All right, the SW Motec, these were the SW Motec. And now we have the Barkbusters handguards, one of the most uh, appreciated from the market. Let's check out the two-point mount hardware kit, which uh, actually you can place as a pointing start, at the starting point, 
and then you can choose your plastics afterwards this is how they are looking for the transalp and you can see also uh, some of the plastics already mounted on so on this uh, frame on this aluminium frame protection you can mount uh, plenty of plastics they fit uh, quite perfectly I really like this one for example this one I think it should fit uh, it would fit really nice to my bike to the white version this uh, white with the Barbusters logo in the middle and uh, you can see a different design and basically you can put uh, a lot of plastics a lot of color options uh, for this frame on this uh, aluminium frame not much uh, about the prices of course you have this uh, jet plastic guards which you can use on different colors according to your uh, preferences you can see also the dimensions and also you can have a different style for example this style which I like uh, you can see it on white and different other colors yeah so this is uh, VPS plastic guards only left and right pair with mounting screws high impact resistant plastic guards extensive range of colors skid plate available for added protection to other edges of the Barbastas backbone so basically we can uh, buy the backbone uh, install it and then decide about the plastics which you're gonna use uh, on top to be honest uh, I like more the Acerbis at this point but uh, this Barbusters uh, can be as a second option for me what do you think about the Barbusters? Please write in the comment section. Have you installed it already on your bike, on your Transalp, or you're planning to? Just uh, let us know in the comment section. These Barbusters are specially designed for the Honda Transalp 750 with the 22mm handlebar with OEM original equipped and manufacturer specifications. Two mounting points, heat treated uh, aluminium backbone for added strength and impact protection, bar and weights included, easy installation, hardware kit compatible. So these, uh, these bones, backbones are compatible with Jet, VPS, Storm or Carbon Guards, each sold separately. So basically this is the most important part for you and uh, for your transalp the backbone the rest of the plastics can be easily added and uh, according to your preferences uh, your style and your choice you can actually decide which plastics to buy and which plastic to use with this backbone the fourth must have for this bike in my opinion and i will uh, i will justify my choice is the quick shifter why the quick shifter uh, usually this is an optional or sometimes it comes standard with some bikes but for the Honda Transalp that uh, has a really amazing behavior on road and uh, from my experience after 5,000 6,000 kilometers almost with a bike uh, I can highly recommend as a fourth must-have for this bike the quick shifter the quick shifter it's optional comes in a rally kit you don't have uh, yet other options from other manufacturers regarding the quick shifter it's available only as an original honda so far but i can highly recommend it it's uh, quite perfect it works perfectly up shifting down shifting uh, very smooth and uh, I can highly recommend because this is a street orientated bike okay it can make off-roads with no problem and I already done it but uh, because this this bike will be mostly used uh, on road and it has a perfect behavior on road I think the quit shifter adds an extra fun and uh, 
it works really really nice and uh, if it's mounted on a Honda service you have a warranty you have uh, everything it's uh, secured and it gives you really really a very nice experience so I highly recommend having this quick shifter as an optional and uh, you will have a much much better experience on road and why not off-road because uh, sometimes you can actually use it and you can use it on road especially and the at the end of your day when you are somehow tired and uh, this this sometimes helps you um, help, helps you really on changing the gears very fast very easy and gives you an extra boost of uh, stamina so to speak at the end of your trip so the quick shifter number four out of five must-haves the last must-have in my opinion for this bike based on my uh, experience so far is the the charger the usb charger the 12 volt charger socket the power outlet 12 volt power outlet 2 amperes why i think this is the uh, top five or the fifth must have for this bike because it's very cheap it's about uh, 20 25 euros it's very accessible it's in the front position you have another usb c charger on the back of your seat but i think it's too difficult to charge your phone or your battery coming up with a cable with a very long cable from the back or placing your battery or phone uh, under your seat somehow to charge it or under your uh, top case under your cargo bag and i think this accessible 12 volt charger makes a huge difference when it comes of charging your phone your battery even your gopro you can charge it by mounting it on the handlebar or uh, giving access to to charging everything everything which is close to the handlebars and you have actually a really good uh, access to it it's very easy to install i have the installation already done on my channel on my uh, channel you can find an installation tutorial for this uh, power outlet socket so uh, this is the fifth the fifth must have for this bike and of course you might say okay what about the crash bar why not it's a must have for this bike because I already told you that you have a better options uh, for the engine protection uh, bars which can uh, be uh, quite wide and uh, cover somehow also the crash bar I have a very good experience with the crash bar I have to admit I already crashed the bike on the left side and the Hepco & Becker crash bar did an amazing job so this comes as a bonus as a bonus must have for this bike so let's say it will be a top six uh, must haves but i will place the the charger on top of this crash bar because there are better options for the engine protection which will cover also the the crash bar and i didn't place the crash bar on a top five because you will add extra weight maybe it's too much extra weight uh, for the bike in order to have a, to keep a, a decent uh, a decent weight for the bike so i will say the the crash bar it's an optional it's an optional six you can give up on the charger and try to replace this with a crash bar and thanks god there are plenty of options for the crash bars let's check them out because uh, yeah my choice was Hepco & Becker after first considering the original one but Hepco & Becker already uh, has proven to me to be an amazing choice it has protected my bike in a perfect way I already crashed it on the left side so I will add it as an optional I will really uh, advise you to consider it if you're making off-roads or if you want to protect more your bike the Hepco & Becker it's highly recommended for for you from my side but i will leave you other options and let's check them out what other options do we have for this crash bar
Except the Hepco and Becker uh, crash bars, which I already recommended to you and I've installed it on my bike. The reasons uh, are very simple. I like this uh, mid connection. It's only one connection, not three from the original one. So I think uh, if you are thinking what crash bar to buy, don't think too much because Hepco and Becker already did the job on my bike, protecting the fenders and protecting the bike. So uh, I highly recommend as a first option this Hepco and Becker. Of course, there are other options, uh, hopefully as reliable as this one. But in my case, I will start with the Hepco and Becker. It costs 235 euros. We have a black version, 225 euros. It's uh, cheaper than the silver one. As you can see, we can attach also the fog lights. There is a special attachment for the original fog lights if you have it, so don't worry about that. This uh, crash bar, as I mentioned, did an amazing job for my bike, so I highly recommend it. And it's the first option which I start uh, this crash bar presentation. This crash bar from Hepco and Becker, it's my first option when it comes to crash bars for the Honda Transalp 750. The crash bar weights 3.5 kilos and uh, can be combined with Hepco and Becker engine guard or the original engine guard, so don't worry. I've already combined it with uh, the original engine guard and it worked uh, perfectly. I have a video on my channel regarding the installation tutorial and you can see there how I install it together with the original uh, engine protection bars. So, Hepco and Becker, don't think too much. This should be your first option in terms of uh, crash bar. Now let's go to SW Motec because they are also providing uh, quite an interesting crash bar, which, um, which also offer uh, quite a good protection you can see uh, the joints I think uh, in my opinion this uh, SW Motec although it's protecting quite well the radiator as you can see it has a radiator bar which um, which goes uh, and connects the two parts basically the two crash bars are connected in two points one here in the front and the other one uh, at the middle of the radiator I think this one uh, it's quite a nice option, it covers quite a lot and as you can see it leaves the Transalp logo of the bike uh, alone so it doesn't cover the logo of the Transalp. Many people complain that uh, the other crash bars are covering the Transalp logo but no, the, the SW Motec doesn't. So uh, it's a nice option although I don't like the joints so much it's just a personal opinion I think there are too many joints too many connections uh, in the mid part where I think it should be more stable and the joints are quite uh, they they are connected uh, with too many bolts or the, the style of the connection I think it's too I don't know doesn't seem uh, too simple or too tough when I compare it, of course, with Hepco and Becker. But on the other hand, uh, yeah, it looks uh, really nice, doesn't cover the logo. Let's check out the material. Its uh, weight, it's about uh, 5.8 kilos. And it's uh, steel, powder coated. And uh, construction is made out of sturdy steel weather and corrosion resistant powder coating in black, reliable protection for important components, highly stable construction appropriate for peg length of the motorcycle, model specific development guarantees precise fit and reliable frame linkage, optimized lean angle guaranteed, simple mounting by screwing on factory made mounting points on the frame. So uh, it costs 230 euros. I don't know if there is a silver version for this one. What we can see here, it's only on black. 
I don't think it's uh, the silver version available. We can see uh, an engine guard available for silver and black. But unfortunately, I don't think a silver version for this uh, crash bar is available. However, SW Motec, it's a really interesting option in terms of crash bars. Another option for the crash bar comes from the brand Heed. Uh, these are the crash bars. As you can see, they look quite interesting in terms of uh, mounting points. As you can see uh, how it's mounted and the, the way it covers the fenders in quite some, some, a lot of points actually. You can see the, from where it starts and then goes and uh, somehow surrounds uh, the bike also underneath on the pipes just check it out also uh, under the um, under the headlight you can see it's uh, more than up from position yeah it looks uh, quite aggressive it looks uh, that this this uh, crash bar from heat looks the more uh, the one when we compare it with the SW Motec or the um, Hepco and Becker or even with the original one this one seems uh, quite tough seems quite wide and uh, seems like it covers basically everything if you can check it out from different perspectives yeah it's uh, quite an interesting option I didn't see it until now. It's the first time I'm uh, actually visualizing this uh, option for the crash bar. And uh, yeah, it has one mounting point here in the front. And then as you can see, it has another one and two on each side. So three mounting points on each side. This is not bad. This is actually not bad. I don't know the fitting with the, the other accessories. I think they, they're not fitting most likely or you have to maybe this space over here make some room for the original uh, engine guard who knows let's uh, see so th the description of this uh. so offer concerns to upper silver heat crash bars uh, for honda trans -Sol. this product protects mainly upper parts of the motorcycle such as plastic fairings tank and cooler which we can see however it uh, highly reduces possibility of damages to the engine also upper heat uh, upper heat crash bars can be connected with lower crash bars offered by heat available in separate offer which we saw so it works with the heat crash bar and honda lower crash bars from honda transalp okay so it goes it seems like it goes with the original honda transalp uh, skid, uh engine guards which is quite nice so let's let's read again to be sure upper uh, upper heat crash bars can be connected with lower crash bar by heat and Honda lower crash bars for Honda XL Transalp. Okay, so uh, that's nice that it uh, has a better compatibility than SW Motec, for example. And you can check out why, because of the space. It's very wide. It actually covers quite nice the bike. I think it has one of the best protections for what I see. The is not the same about the design. The design uh, looks uh, quite aggressive. It covers uh, most of the bike. It looks like a bike from a motorcycle school. Usually the bikes from motorcycle schools are protected uh, very aggressively because uh, they are more exposed to damage by new new riders. So, uh, yeah, this is a nice option, but man, 8 kilos, wow, wow, that's quite a lot, that's quite a lot. It's almost uh, as much as the complete rally pack from Honda, which includes the skid plate and the engine protection and everything. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a lot, quite a lot. But, uh, yeah, what can I say? It's uh, definitely, I think, two times uh, heavier than the Hepco and Becker. That's for sure. And uh, check it out. It's uh, eight kilos. Wow. 
average package with all the bolts included yeah eight kilos uh, that's quite a lot quite a lot but you can see if you want protection if you want your bike to be <laughs> Uh, completely covered by this crash bar by this enormous crash bar then here, here it is here is your crash bar here yeah indeed uh, quite quite heavy this eight kilos and uh, it's a steel pipe 25 millimeters multiplied by two millimeter and the price it's 198 euros Regarding the availability, it's almost gone and dispatched with uh, 24 hours. I don't know uh, if you can order it in your country. You have to check it out. But man, this heat, yeah, it's one of the most aggressive uh, crash bars from the Honda Transal. But it's an option together with the original one, together with the HEP Coinbacker and SW Motec. Now let's check the other crash bar from Thorke Racing. Check it out, the red one, which is very visible and add some extra color to the board. Now let's check the other crash bar from Thorke Racing. Check it out, the red one, which is very visible and add some extra color to the boring black and gray. You can check it out. It's uh, quite nice from the style uh, point of view. It has uh, only one joint in the upper side and hopefully a second joint here uh, um, uh, close to the radiator. And it looks quite nice. It doesn't cover so much the Transalp logo. It's uh, placed uh, somehow more in the upper position to protect uh, the fender from the middle part so to speak it's made from high quality aluminum with three millimeter thickness reduced to weight in terms of reduced weight let's see uh, later what's the weight of this one maximum resistance innovative design i can agree here about the design it's quite nice maximum protection for your bike compatible with oem skid plate nice nice yeah so this is the look check it out not bad not bad at all from this uh, Thorke racing quite interesting so here is this uh, the last option what we have from uh, Thorke racing the crash bar I think it has another joint uh, of course uh, in front of the radiator some sliders, some bumpers on the side and uh, yeah, it looks quite nice, quite uh, aggressive with this red. A uh, nice contrast. Depending, ah, okay, we can see the second joint underneath. So we have uh, one, two joints, two bars uh, with the mid joint attached to the frame. It's compatible with the OEM skid plate. Hopefully it's compatible also with the OEM uh, engine guard. I can see it should be because uh, the bracket, the mounting bracket, it's in the same position. All right, so this is it. This is the this is the Thorke Racing and it costs 244.98 euros. This is the price that you get for this red uh, crash bar. Yeah, it says uh, they have uh, many colors, but uh, only red is presented here. Same as the skid plate. Yeah, nice, nice. Another option. So plenty of options for the crash bar for the Honda Transalp 750. So uh, you can check them out and decide accordingly to your preferences. What do you think uh, it will fit your bike? And finally, one of the last options for the Honda Transalp crash bar is the one from Outback Motor Tech. The crash bar cost uh, 243.80 euros. Uh, the weight is 5.5 kilos. 
These are designed for offering protection for some of the most exposed parts of the engine, the plastic side fairings and the radiator. Let's check it out because uh, I really like the design of this uh, Outback MotorTech. As you can see here, it's available on uh, black and you can check out the paint finishing it's very shiny and uh, the weldings are very nicely done and also it continues uh, as you can see it continues uh, on the on the mid part of the engine even uh, covers quite a lot of the engine it has uh, another bracket on the upper side they are offering also installation instructions the guys from um, outback motor tech i will show it uh, later so we can check out the sides of the bike and the front of the bike it looks uh, really nice there are different joints as you can see here there is a plate in the front part with some bolts they are jointed to protect, uh, as you can see, it protects the suspension and the upper part of the fairings. The logo, the Transalp logo stays uh, untouched and uh, we also have some uh, protections underneath, uh, the another joints uh, underneath the radiator. Yeah, I really like it. And let's check out uh, the installation video provided by uh, the YouTube channel from uh, Outback Motor Tech. So here are the crash bars, lower cross and everything, the bolts, the brackets, the washers, everything which you need. The, guide, the guys are providing installation instructions. The installation it's quite uh, nicely done, it's very detailed and it offers you enough information uh, for you to mount the uh, each single part. As you can see uh, there is also a back mounting point on the frame of the transolve so you can actually fix some crash bars in the in the back in the back side. We saw, we saw a similar one just before the, this one, the crash bar. So we can uh, actually see the joints, the brackets and the connections between the pipes. Everything is detailedly explained in this uh, video. Yeah, so this is quite an interesting option. This crash bar has uh, 5.5 kilos. So it's uh, heavier than uh, Hapco and Becker and the original one. So you can check it out how it's mounted on the Honda Transalp. It has uh, multiple mounting points actually uh, because uh, there is the mounting. There are the mounting points from the back side under the seat so yeah it's uh, kind of interesting because this uh, this straighten up uh, this this crash bar actually straighten up the protection and gives an extra boost of uh, confidence while riding but uh, indeed uh, you need to carefully watch this installation process because it's uh, yeah it's uh, detailed and you don't want to miss uh, a step from this part you don't want to miss a washer or a bolt these are very important or you see these joints i think uh, these joints these multiple joints need to be rechecked quite often this is um, the same for the other crash bars Check them out from time to time. Check out uh, if any bolt is uh, getting loose. So tie them up one more time. Check them out, recheck them because, uh, because of the vibrations, because of the terrain which you're riding. 
the bolts uh, could be loose from time to time so uh, a recheck it's absolutely necessary once in a while so yeah quite nice you also can receive uh, from uh, Outback Mototech a Honda Transal protection combo this costs 456 euros which includes uh, crash bars and skid plate the total weight of this components it's uh, 9.3 kilos which is uh, not bad considering the considering what you get so let's take a look one more time yeah it looks really really nice especially especially on this black version or gray black version it looks very nice and really like uh, the way it shines over here as you can see on the bars the weldings are very nicely done yeah good job good job uh, very nicely done this is the the one with the discrete with the minimalistic skid plate which we saw previously on this video and here we have a quite a strong and robust with multiple uh, attachment points a crash bar yeah it's uh, it's up to you up to your preferences because there are plenty plenty of options for the Honda Transal when it comes to accessories uh, especially now we're speaking about the crash bars the, or the tank protectors check out the front man so they have uh, this this joint as a bracket the way it's joined uh, can see it's uh, somehow maybe built to dissipate the force the impact force uh, could act like a spring it's uh, you know it's uh, also has multiple points also in the front side upper and bottom position yeah really interesting this uh, this crash bar has a different approach from multiple perspectives from multiple uh, joints can uh, attach it yeah very nice another option for you in terms of crash bar they have also video installation on YouTube on the Outback Mototech uh, YouTube channel Honda Transal crash bars installation guide give it a like a nice and detailed installation very nicely done very professional yeah good luck uh, good luck on selling this crash bar seems like seems like it's out of stock as we can see actually they have the protection combo on sale but it says also sold out so <laughs> this uh, it's sold out for the moment no wonder why because uh, it's it's really nicely done the quality 25 millimeter steel tube with 2 millimeter wall thickness this is the the data what we have less is often more this is what they say we've utilized the strongest crash bars mounting points while keeping the structure compact for overall strength this we we saw already the, the mounting points, the multiple mounting points. Powder coated combined with the sand blasting. It's a killer combination to protect our product surface. No frills and tough just like your Transalp. All right. Compatibility, additional information. So it's only available in matte black. I am really interested to know what is your opinion regarding this top five must-haves? What are yours top five must-haves for this bike? Please write in the comment section, what do you consider as five essentials accessories for this bike, which you recommend on having it from your experience. And uh, please let us know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.